831, welcome back to Good Day Chicago. We are continuing our coverage of the Chicago mayoral race next month, sitting down one-on-one -on -one with each and every candidate. And today I'm joined by businessman and philanthropist Willie Wilson. Good morning and thanks for coming to the studio. All right, thank you. It's always good to see you. You know, soon after you made your announcement that you were running, mm -hmm. you were kind enough to invite me into your home and we talked about your motivation. Mm -hmm. You're a self-made millionaire and I asked you, why in the world would you want to be Chicago's mayor? And you told me mm -hmm. it's because you want to help people. Yeah, so yeah. if you are elected mayor, what's the very first thing that you will do to help Chicagoans? Well, it's obviously that crime is a situation that we got to get under control. If, if you don't get crime under control, there is no Chicago that anybody would want to 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 live in and bring their uh, raise a family, bring their kids, things of that nature. The next one is taxes. Taxes drive you out of Chicago, resident, business, and everybody else. So so you got to deal with crime first, and then your taxes would be next if we're gonna have a wonderful city. But you got to be fair with people. You got to balance the budget in a way that these particular politicians do now. All they do is take money and get themselves raises while other people suffer out here. You give time. money away. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of the narrative of Willie Wilson. <clears throat> You're the guy who's given away millions of dollars of his own money, mm -hmm. free gas giveaways, free food giveaways. Mm -hmm. And yet your critics, Willie, have said to you, this is all politically motivated. You're not doing this out of true generosity. To that criticism, you say mm -hmm. what? Well, look at the Wall Street Journal in 1995. Look at Katrina. Look at California, where we've been giving money away down there. You know, but right now, like the gasoline and the price and things of that nature, it's been tough, so you got to give back. We give away our own money, not taxpayer dollars, all right? And then after we give away our own particular money, the politician continue to get himself racist. You know, it is wrong. The politician need to be uh, for as I'm concerned, uh, uh, run out of Chicago. You, you touched on crime, and that is such a key component to motivating people to come out to the polls. Mm -hmm. it's, it's by far the number one concern of Chicagoans. And you have said that if elected mayor, you will take the handcuffs off of police. And I watched you in a recent debate, and you sort of surprised me. I, I'm going to quote you. I'm paraphrasing a little mm -hmm. bit. But you said, should police find <clears throat> themselves in a foot pursuit, Officers should be able to chase them down and hunt them down like a rabbit. Now, Mayor Lightfoot mm -hmm. took exception to what you said. Here's what she had to say. She said, for a candidate for mayor to say that, we ought to take the handcuffs off police and let them hunt down human beings like rabbits is an extraordinary thing. I fully and utterly condemn it. What is your response directly to Lightfoot's criticism of you? Well, let me put it this way. <clears throat> I, I lost a 20-year-old um, son to gun violence, number one. Uh, these particular people committing crime get away and they're still walking around. Next day they go around and rob somebody else or, or kill someone else. We're going to have to take and make sure that we bring this to, to, to closure. We must be hard on people who commit these crimes. Mayor Lightfoot is sitting back, not doing anything. Police disrespect her, you know. She's been a failure in terms of this whole administration. So I, 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 I say for her that, go ahead. I'm glad you mentioned Omar, because we only have a minute left. Mm -hmm. And you talk a lot about the youth committing crimes here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And you've said one of the ways that we can reverse this disturbing trend is by opening up more trade schools. Mm -hmm. If you are elected mayor, how many would you open in the greater Chicagoland area, and how soon would they open? Uh, I mean, we'll open them up in school, but not only that, you take the CTA, CHA, why not put the particular trade school right in where they're actually doing the work at, that, that, that the mayor have control of. Put those trade schools there, that's reinvesting into those community. Those kids get out of school, they get a job, they get contract, those communities become very profitable. Well, you're going to be able to hear a lot more from Willie Wilson two weeks from today because Fox 32, the Lincoln Forum, and the Chicago Bar Association are set to host a mayoral forum. It's live from the Union League Club. It's on the 9th of February. All nine candidates will be there, including Dr. Willie Wilson, taking part in this forum. We're going to talk a lot more about crime. We're going to talk about education. We're going to talk about the future of our city. Fox 32 political editor Mike Flannery, myself, and Anita Blanton will serve as your host. This is a one-hour forum. It's really what we are hoping for is a conversation 
conversation with the candidates and not so much to hear stump speeches. We hope you tune in on the 9th at 6 p.m. right here on Fox 32. We're also streaming it on fox32chicago.com. Willie Wilson, I am looking forward to continuing this conversation with you and the other candidates. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. All right, let's send it over to Mike.